before. We all know that India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world, with a super-rich culture and history. But did you know that some of the stuff you use every single day was invented in this country? From the buttons on your shirt to the shampoo in your shower, watch this video till the end to find out what brilliant things we can thank India for. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. Alright, number 1. The Zero People in ancient times had always thought that there should be some sort of a sign to indicate nothing. Well, their worries were put to rest in the 5th century AD, when Aryabhata, an Indian genius of math and astronomy, invented the zero as a symbol to represent nothing. It made addition, subtraction, and a slew of other mathematical operations a whole lot easier. You can see the oldest zero in existence carved in the wall of a temple in Gwalior, India. If you're not a big fan of math and the invention of zero seems like nothing too important to you, just think, without it, we would have no binary system and no computers. <laughs> How do you like that zero now? Number 2. Rulers The Indus Valley Civilization was using rulers in 1500 BC and earlier. Made from ivory, these rulers were found during excavations in what is present-day Pakistan and northwestern India. Apparently, they were widely used in architecture with pretty amazing accuracy. They had units corresponding to 1.32 inches that were marked with extremely precise subdivisions within 5 thousandth of an inch. Number 3. Chess This all-time top game for intellectuals is also an Indian invention. Its ancestor was called Chaturanga, and it was a strategic board game popular during the Gupta Empire around 6th century AD. Like the chess we know today, this game had various pieces with different value and capabilities. It also had an important king figure, and winning the game depended on the fate of the king. Another popular board game brought to us by India is Snakes and Ladders. The original version was called Mokshapat, and it was invented by a 13th century poet and saint by the name of Gyandev. The snake stood for vices, while ladders were virtues. During India's time under British rule, the game made its way to England and later to the US. Number 4. Plastic Surgery In the 6th century BC, an Indian physician named Shushruta created a huge reference book on medicine and surgery. It was one of the world's earliest works of his kind. Shushruta, often called the father of surgery in his home country, described the use of hundreds of medicinal plants and instructions for performing surgical procedures, including nose reconstruction and skin transplantation from one part of the body to another. The original method of rhinoplasty that involved taking a piece of skin from the forehead to reconstruct the nose is even still used today. But back then, nose jobs were done to help people who had been deprived of their noses as a punishment for theft or adultery. Ooh, how times have changed! Number 5. Cataract Surgery Sushruta not only invented plastic surgery, but also performed the first cataract surgery. He used a curved needle to remove the lens from the affected eye. This revolutionary procedure soon became popular outside of India. Patients and doctors from around the world visited the surgeon to get operations done and learn from his experience. The genius surgeon never turned anyone away. He said that he got all his knowledge from the god of Ayurvedic medicine, Don Von Terry. Number 6. Wireless Communication When you think of the pioneer of radio communication, Guglielmo Marconi probably immediately comes to mind, and that's for good reason, of course. He even received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 for his innovative work. 
but Sir Jadish Chantra Bose presented his discovery of radio communication waves to the public in 1895. He sent an electromagnetic wave across 75 feet at the town hall in Calcutta. The wave passed through walls, rang a bell, and ignited some gunpowder. Marconi used Bose's invention, the mercury coherer, as a pattern to build his operational two-way radio. Bose never patented his work, so he was only credited for his discovery a century later. Number 7. The USB The USB, or universal serial bus, is a way more recent invention than wireless communication, of course. It was brought to us by A.J. Bott, an Indian-American computer genius that was working as an engineer for Intel back in the 1990s. He came up with the idea of a universal port for devices as he was putting an SD card into his computer. Remember those things? <laughs> the device instantly became a huge hit. Bot himself didn't get money or official recognition for his invention, as he's always insisted that it was the result of teamwork. Today, the amount of USB devices used worldwide is over 10 billion items, making it the most used computer gadget out there. Number 8. Yoga Hit that like button if you've ever tried yoga. Mm -hmm, I have. If you keep practicing it and see the positive changes in your life, then you should thank India for it. The first yoga guru was Lord Shiva, also known as Adi Yoga. People in northern India were practicing this spiritual exercise over 5,000 years ago. The word yoga was even mentioned in the Vedas, India's oldest sacred text. The Brahmins further developed the art of yoga and documented their experiences in a treatise with over 200 records. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the idea to celebrate Yoga Day on June 21st, and it's now an actual international holiday with millions of followers. Number 9. Natural Fibers Nothing feels better than the touch of natural cotton on your skin. We could have been deprived of the situation if it weren't for the bright minds of India. Unlike the ancient Greeks who wore animal skins, the Indians started cultivating cotton back in the 5th and 4th centuries BC. They used cotton threads to produce fabrics that soon became a huge hit in the Mediterranean and beyond. Jute and wool also have their origins in India. Kashmir, the finest and most exclusive type of wool, actually comes from the Kashmir region of India. Number 10. Flush Toilets You can probably see by now that the Indus Valley Civilization came up with so many genius inventions. And flush toilets were one of them. Believe it or not, home toilets connected to a complicated sewage system with canals, irrigation, and smart water management existed in the land of spices over 5,000 years ago. Pure genius. Number 11. Shampoo The word shampoo comes from the Hindi word shampo, which means to massage or knead. The substance was invented in India in 1762 and was originally used for head massages, hence the name. The first shampoo was made of natural oils and herbs. British colonial traders fell in love with the idea and brought it back with them to England. It took years for the original head massage oil to evolve into shampoo as we know it today. But fact is fact. You have the Indians to thank for the beauty and cleanliness of your hair. Number 12. Buttons This clothing staple is at the top of our list. So simple yet revolutionary, the first buttons were found during excavations in Mohenjo-Daro, one of the largest settlements in the Indus Valley Civilization, yet again. Over 5,000 years ago, buttons were made of seashells and used as an ornament and not for fastening clothes. But they had two holes in the middle right